As 2020 is coming to an end, it's a good time to think about next year's predictions for financial trends. And Peter Sashaki from Everything Financial Group joins us now with his insights. Happy holidays to you, sir. Same to you, Jason. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. So what are your predictions for trends in Canada's mortgage scene? Yeah, let me get out my crystal ball and see what happens <laughs> yeah. here. Well, re realistically, um, don't buy into the hype that you better lock in now. Interest rates could go up because we're already seeing that from the commission people trying to tell people that. But you know what? With all the debt with COVID and the trillions of dollars and billions of dollars, you use any number you want given out. We're not going to see rates go up for any time soon. Look at pretty steady rates in the future for the next year or two. And a lot of pundits are saying possibly three, maybe even four years before we see any real significant change in interest rates. So if you have a mortgage, hold tight, wait for your renewal, and don't pay an unnecessary penalty. Okay, how about for 2021, our real estate prices? What's the housing market going to look like? Well, it seems in BC, no matter what happens in the rest of the world, BC seems strong all the time with real estate. What you're seeing right now in real estate, and I was talking to a bunch of realtors for this segment in the last few days, you're seeing what we call the lower end of the market in BC, which is all relative, but that 750 million, million two range, there's a lot of movement right now. We're seeing people bidding on houses like we had five years ago and, and before that. Um, there will be what we call a trickle up effect from that. So you'll see that now. And then as the people who sell their $750,000 house go to buy a new house, then they'll start to buy the million and eventually the million dollar people buy the million three, million four house and so on. So we could see more activity in that higher number uh, through 2021, just because the people at the lower end are buying so much. And that's spurred on obviously by low interest rates. A lot of people can get into the housing market who maybe they were borderline before. So good for them for getting a house. Absolutely. Okay, let's talk investments now. What can we expect uh, happening in the investment market? Well, we had our big correction, obviously, with COVID. That was way overdue because the market pretty well was on an upward trend for about eight years and things were really overvalued. But don't let that fool you. Don't go buy rates of return. Past rates of return, as we say, are never on sale. Even though we should see an upward trend in the market, there still is some mini corrections when that happens. So it's not like it's constantly uphill all the time and, and it's always going to be the stratosphere with rates of return. So there, there could be many corrections, but when it comes to your investment um, portfolio, design a financial plan, see a registered financial planner, because that's more of a long-term investment. There is no such thing as a get rich quick scheme because that's what it is. It's just a scheme if you think it's get rich quick. And Peter, by the time January comes around, most people will have a sense of what their income will be for the previous year for 2020. So what's your advice in terms of RSP contributions? Well, that's where you want to look at. Don't contribute just for the sake of contributing. As I always say, just because you can buy an RSP doesn't always mean you should buy an RSP. That's where you talk to a tax, a tax specialist, a registered financial planner who has a tax department at their firm is always really good to look for because then you can figure out what the optimum amount of RSPs to buy is. Don't just buy RSPs because you think you have to max out your RSPs. We'll be talking about that more in the new year, but it's one of those most oversold things where it's sold on hype. You have to buy the right amount for you, not the right amount that puts a commission in someone else's pocket. And finally, Peter, if you had one piece of financial advice for 2021, what would it be? One piece of financial advice for 2021, pick a debt that you have and pay it off. Look after your own house first before you're worrying about everyone else, because you know what? 2020 has been a bit of a dog and pony show, shall we say? That's a play way to put it. 2021, pay yourself, go on a holiday once you're able to, and have some fun. And good, good advice. Pay off that holiday debt as soon as possible. Peter Sashaki, have a great Christmas, and we'll talk to you uh, next week. We'll talk to you. Actually, no next week. There is no show next oh, week, that's Jason. Right. But have, a, have well, a Merry Christmas and a great New Year, and we'll be talking to you at the, in 2021. Good stuff. All right. Thanks, Peter.